right there. We did it. Daryl and Kim here. We just made our first fuel stop. Didn't hit anything. Nobody got hurt during this fueling. I so was panicking. We just took our time, went real, real slow. Watched which way the wind was, picked which dock we wanted to fuel at, and we drifted right in. Kim uh, deployed the fenders, and uh, they here at the wharf, we're at the wharf uh, right outside of uh, Gulf Shores. A beautiful marina, full service marina. Man, it's really nice, got a nice restaurant and everything. It's real early in the morning, it's about yep. nine o'clock in the morning. So Gas we thought we'd get- 295. 295 for diesel. Yeah. So we thought we'd stop in here, fuel up so we wouldn't have to worry about it all the way home and beat all the crazies in here so we don't have to fight them later on. So now we're good to haul the way home. Topped off, engine's running good. Got off the docks real good. And look at Princess, it looks like she's actually having her, yeah. well she got up. Yeah, Princess is having Princess a good time. Princess is adapting very well. So we're gonna do a little, uh, once we get down the, the uh, ditch a little bit farther, we're on the intercoastal canal right outside of Gulf Shores, Alabama. And we'll get with you later, have a sit down, a little talk on our first day experience of running through the intercoastal. And went by a couple barges, uneventful, and uh, got off the dock. A little bit scary, but uh, hey, for our first time, I think we're doing good. Yep. So anyway, we very well. We had a good night sleep last night. Slept very well on the boat. Oh yeah. Had a great time. Uh, Better than in the camper, I think. Had some fajitas. Yeah. But anyway, thought we'd do a short little deal here, and we'll get back to you as soon as we get back underway, or we have a chance to sit down and relax. Until then. See you soon. Someday's here. That's right.